Hey guys, Envy here. Um, today we're going to be doing a Albion Online 2v2 Hellgate VOD review. So I play Claymore, um, and we're going to be going over everything. Um, I do include a loss in here, but we're going to be going over everything that I need to do. Um, in the loss, everything that I could have done better. In the wins, just point out everything that um, was notable and that you guys need to be replicating um, during your Hellgates. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So we're just going to go over um, the basic fight. So first off, um, my healer was scouts for me. This is the setup I use when I am um, into when I'm just walking to a Hellgate because they could go be a stun DPS. But I am a um, Merc Hood, Mage, Rogue, Cultist Sandal um, player. Um, my duo plays the standard setup um, on healer. You don't even need me to say it because it's so incredibly obvious. But no, I'll say it. it's Royal Cal, Mage, Rogue, Merc Shoes, Carnie on Cape, Mist Collar offhand for the one editor. Holy. Um, and I couldn't quite catch them, so my healer um, comms to me that it's a Merc Hood. Or sorry, that's a Claymore with a Merc Hood. Um, and it has a card on cape, which is very interesting. Um, no I noticed the healer, so before the fight starts, I'm just going to go over what I see. So I see a, um, a Claymore who has Carly on cape. And basically what that means is all of his damage is going to be, his, his play style is going to be getting a very fast E. Right? He's going to QQ with the reset and then wait and then Q and then E. So he'll have more pressure than me at the very, very start of the round. However, since I'm on Mage Robe, if I just purge it, my Thetford Cape will give me lots more value than his Carly Young Cape. Um, and I noticed the Ice Walk Fiend Robe Healer, and I love killing Fiend Robe Healers because it's, it's not a defensive, right? Fiend Robe is an offensive um, body armor. So every time I see a Fiend Robe, even though it's a Cleric Cow, um, I know that I should be hitting it because it has no defensive. Um, it has respawn and holy bless, but I can just wait out the bless, and then it has to use respawn, and then it dies the next rotation. And the cleric cow doesn't actually mean anything. Um, the only thing the cleric cow means is that I can't waste poison. I have to wait until after the cleric cow, cow to poison. Um, but other than that, the cleric cow doesn't help in the matchup at all. It actually hurts in this matchup because you'd rather have um, Carleon Cape with Royal Cow. Um, because the Cleric Cow doesn't do anything for you in this matchup. He should probably switch off of Ice Block onto Bop, actually. This Cleric, um, uh, the Ice Block is not useful at all in this matchup. Um, so it, as you can see, um, what's going to happen, I'm going to walk up, I'm going to queue the Claymore just to get a stack, because the, it gives you more movement speed, so just get more movement speed towards the healer. Um, I see the healer boots away, and this is an important moment. I turn onto the DPS, I ignore his poison, I don't know what the fuck that poison is about. I turn onto the DPS here, because if I use my Cult of Sandals, I'm not as fast as his refreshing sprint, right? So, um, what I should do is turn onto the Claymore, um, because I can't actually catch him unless I blow Merc Hood and Cult of Sandals. And I'm just thinking I get more value by just hitting the Claymore here. Because the worst thing he can do is, is use Mage Robe. And he has to turn to hit me, and I can proc my mage rope, pop my mage rope, or he E's my healer, and it's plenty of time to use Bless, so the, the E here doesn't actually give him any value. He loses all of his pressure because he's um, not on Thetford Gape, so his auto attack game isn't that strong. And this is just a winning position already, because um, we're both equal stacks. Um, the healers are roughly equal HP, so he just chucked a poison for whatever reason. Um, and, you know, you just like to see this position if you're me. So, at this point, um, I noticed their healer walked the wrong way. Their healer is walking to the right to try to catch, um, to, they're trying to, um, I'll actually pull up Epic Ben here. Um, they're trying to get the healer, um, they're trying to catch, um, they're trying to collapse on my healer because he wants to use Fiend, Fiend Robe. Um, so knowing that he wants to use Fiend Robe and is going to walk towards my healer, because he actually does have a lot of pressure on, with the Fiend Robe here, I have to pop E on three stacks, um, which isn't actually a bad thing, because for some reason this guy didn't Mage Robe, this guy should have pressed Mage Robe, because he, this is the only time he can die is when he's not next to his healer, so his healer can't bless this for him, and at this time I have way too much pressure, I pop Poison, I pop Cultist Sandals, 
and um, it's impossible for his healer to outheal my damage here. No matter how much he pumps healing, um, you see he E'd and everything, but he can't pump enough healing. Um, he can't outheal the Cultist Sandals plus Interrupt auto attack damage, and he can't. Um, similarly, my Thetford Cape was just coming off cooldown, and my Poison Potion. So, all in all, um, including even the Merc Hood damage, he just can't outheal it. Um, it's impossible, even through Bless. Um, you see, he's. Oh wait, no, maybe he's not blessed. I, I think. Did he get hit? I think, he, I think my healer purged his bless, actually. Let's see. Yeah, my healer pur has purge up, and the, see, you can see the, the little um, holy bless symbol right there. And my healer has the mage robe active, which is actually very smart of him. Um, for two reasons. One, he might die if he doesn't pop mage robe. Two, it purges the bless, so I just have so much pressure. Look at the E healing, by the way. That E did nothing. That E did literally nothing through the cultist sandals. At this point, it is GG. Um, very well played from my healer. Um, I make fun of their claymore for poisoning on two stacks because he's actually horrible for that. Uh, very easy game. My plan was to hit the healer, but they separated, and the healer had no boots, so it was very free for me just to hit the claymore. Legendary chest, my healer holy blessed. My, my guy has red, uh, red items, but did they die to be weeds? <laughs> <laughs> like, they are, they are yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Legendary, oh, legendary! It's, it's actually. It's actually. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I, I, I made room. Oh! <laughs> Damn! No! Yeah. Oh my god, dude. So that was one number one, very wholesome ending. Me and my healer have great vibes in call. Um, much love to my boy, Vermeert. I have you pronounce it. I always say Vermeert. It's probably like Vermeert or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that is the clip I have from here. And I'm actually going to show you guys a loss now. A lot of people don't show losses, but I'm a real one like that. Um, we're going to show you an imp loss today. Um, so we notice they're an imp. We switch our spells um, against imp. It's... I, I don't know if I'm actually supposed to take Frost Shield or Midrib for the um, stacks. I always just take Frost Shield. I'm not actually sure though. I feel like Frost Shield is a bit more value. Um, similarly, I'll take Frost Shield into, like, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's better into Imp, although I do lose into Imp quite often, so maybe I'm not correct here. So he walks up at this point. This is good. So against Imp, you want to position yourself in between their healer and the Imp. I want to be somewhere, I either want to be here hitting the healer, or I want to be right here hitting the Imp. Um, this is because I need to avoid splashing damage onto both me and my healer. Because if I stand with my healer, like over if I'm on this side of him, hitting from this side, um, he get the Imp can AoE both of us, and he gets so much value, and it is going to be GG. That's how you lose the in matchup, is if you let them AoE. So right now we're losing, because as you see, I took one fourth of my HP to AoE damage. So um, none of this damage is directed at me, it's all directed at my healer, but it hit me because of the way I'm positioned. I took half my HP now, that's another quarter of my HP. So what I should have done better here is at this point, once he, once he runs up my healer, I need to switch to hitting the, 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 their healer right now. I need to go over here and hit the healer. Because when he gets on top of my healer, um, I can't contest him. If he's in melee range of my healer, I have to get in melee range of him, so we'll all three be stacked up, and then um, he'll be able to splash damage us. So that is how we lost this fight. Because at this point, the fight's over. Right now, the fight's lost. We can't win anymore. I don't have pressure. Um, he has mage robe, but he's purged my stacks. I have no pressure. He has so much pressure. So at this point, the fight is lost already. Um, he has to be full healing himself. At this point, I did a good job of dodging the, the AoE damage, but again, that ability hit us both right here. Um, that hit us both, so that was horrible. It was still bad positioning out of me, not my healer's fault at all. Same thing right here. We both got hit by the by the teleport, and it's just it's just over, honestly. It's just very it's very over. Um, at this point, it's so over. I, I dodged the Q pretty well. Um, but at this point, there's very little counterplay because he has so much pressure. I don't have enough pressure. He AoEs us both with those little, I don't even know, I think it's the Q, I think it's the melee Q. 
and at this point we lost the fight so the biggest takeaway against imp is that if you stack on top of your healer you will die so quickly so um we're going to go over a um uh how to counter a really popular comp or not popular but a very low infamy killer comp is one hand curse so one hand curse is horrible in this mode for a couple of reasons i didn't get the entire fight it looks like the clip starts a little bit into the fight but basically um first of all you can interrupt the long cast time i didn't really realize this i'm not even gonna lie to you until decently into the fight um but yeah i roll the um i roll it and he tried to purge it wait did he try to purge my my roll Yeah, he tried to purge it. You can't purge on You can't purge roll. Um, basically, um, yeah, um, this is going to be the kind of the entire match, me rolling the ease. And as you can see, the next time he does it, I actually don't roll it. He purged my frost shield, and I still lived because for, I, I kept hitting into his purge. I'm really fucking stupid. I, I almost died because of how badly I trolled. Um, but from this point on, I believe I just figure out... Or I just remember, not figure out, I just remember. Oh, nope, I don't, actually. I roll it again. Um, and after, I think after this one here, I can interrupt. I remember interrupting a, a lot in a row um, in terms of the ease. There we go, I interrupted it. And at this point, um, I just realized that, wait, he has zero pressure. Um, because I can just keep interrupting them, right? There we go, interrupted again with Merkwood this time. Um, and at this point, I have so much pressure. He has so little pressure. It's very over, and he purged my stacks again with Fiend Cow this time, I didn't notice. They have double purge, so it's a little rough for me. Um, but, you know, it'd be like that. I need to press Q, there we go. Okay, so again, very easy. Um, Nothing is hard about this matchup at all, because I just have two interrupts that I can cycle between. I should be hitting the, the nature right here. There we go. Just be hitting whoever I can. There we go. Another interrupt. Not bad. And at this point, um, the game is over. Um, he can't keep himself up any longer. And GG. Yeah. I don't actually have the, the range interrupt, so I do have to roll this E. But yeah, it's just it's just over. Nothing he can really do about it. No counter play for my for, for the for the boy back home. GG. Okay. So that's how you beat that comp. I don't think I have another one in here, right? No, I don't. I don't have another replay in here. Um Claymore versus 2 DPS. Claymore with just my normal healer. Claymore with random. Deathgiver. I think this is against Deathgivers, right? Yeah, I don't have the full fight of this one. Let's do a different one. Let's do one where I'm on healer. Um, for this fight, I'm with healer. I'm with a random opponent of Cardion. Um, I, I ended up blocking this guy because he DC'd during my fight and then didn't apologize for it, so that was kind of rough. He just he'd wanted to go again and he said, I might DC again or some shit like that. I don't know. He was just very, he was just very weird about the fact that he DC'd. Um, if he if he apologized that it wouldn't said it wouldn't happen again and was wanted to play more I would be fine with it because he's actually a very good player in my opinion I should be stacking my E though um, I'm hiding behind the pillar though because it's a fire staff so I want to break a line of sight um, you can't really just face tank fire staff it's very bad to do that you're supposed to just stand behind a pillar and you be pressing E though press E press E press E press E press the fucking E key on your keyboard there you go buddy. Okay, now I can just heal myself. Frost Shield is super preemptive, but I also layered my Bless with my Frost Shield, but I'm, I'm not a very experienced healer, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but this matchup is really easy if I just hide behind the pillar. There we go. At this point, um, the matchup is looking good, because the point of Fire Staff is that you just have a lot of pressure, but as you can tell, um, we have a lot more pressure than they do. Um, so the ice block comes through, and after the ice block finishes, it just looks very free. The So I full heal myself with all my cooldowns. I need to be popping Royal Cal though. I don't know, I'm not pressing Royal Cal yet. Um, but yeah, um, all in all, 
Like, this is pretty easy of a, of a fight. I kind of sit back, let my demonic do his thing. Um, the thing that the demonic is doing, by the way, is he's pressing Q a lot, and then he's grudging, and as you can see, his combo there, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to miss, but basically, you see, he activates grudge once he gets his stacks. Now, he has grudge active right now. It's hard to tell, but there's a very slight um, particle right there. Um, he has grudge activated. Um, you can also see it on his buff bar up here. He has grudge activated. He activated grudge a slight amount ago. Um, he E's the healer away. Um, as you can see, the E is heading upwards um, to E the healer away. And then the grudge autos alongside the Thetford cape um, just melt him. And that's the point of demonic stuff. That's kind of what demonic is supposed to do. Um, it's super easy, um, this matchup. Honestly, Great Fire is not very good into demonic. Because demonic can just basically do that. Um, also, they were, they were both in cleric groups. So they kind of sucked. So yeah, um, I'll leave the other demonic vod for uh, the next video. Um, and let's end with one more vod. Let's do claymore into double DPS. Um, because no, I'm not gonna do this one. I'm just save this vod for next time. I'm gonna do um, this vod. Um, okay, this is claymore mirror. There. Um, are in Guardian Helm, um, Purity, Merc Shoes, Limb Cape. Um, this is a very interesting matchup because of just that sheer fact that they're on that thing. So their, their Claymore, to, to note, was on Fiend Cow and Cult of Sandals. And I am on Merc Shoes, and for some reason this just bugged. I have to reopen, sorry. Sometimes the media player is really weird. Um, so he has technically a better build than me for this matchup. Um, Cult of Sandals, Fiend Cowl is better than Assassin's Shoes, um, Merc Hood in this matchup, in my opinion. Um, so I have to play it pretty carefully. I believe I should Mage Robe this next Q, right? Yeah, Mage Robe it. And he Fiend Cowl's mine, which is very interesting. He's on W3, which was very stupid of him, in my opinion. Um, so the Bless comes in time, right? I eventually make the transition to their healer. So what's important to note here is this neutral game where I'm hitting the Claymore and he's hitting me is worse for me because he has Cult of Sandals. And the reason is Cult of Sandals are better at killing me than Assassin's Shoes are good at killing him. And similarly with Fiend Cow, because Fiend Cow, you can purge Holy Bless. Guess what I do without Holy Bless? I die. So, and against the Claymore, the important thing to do is to try to into this matchup, I need to get out of this neutral. So, as you can see, I try to be as like slow as possible with it. I take this, I, I have to just take the damage, right? I have to take the damage, and then eventually, right when he starts leaving, stops hitting me, I, I just book it towards the healer, because that neutral game sucked for me. So, the purpose of my build is to interrupt as many healer cues as possible, Merc Hood and the um, interrupt. So um, my E was, my poison was kind of suspicious there, honestly. Um, I probably shouldn't have used the poison. Um, but yeah, so the assassin shoes are four right there. I interrupt another um, thing. I should just keep hitting, don't worry. I should just be, keep hitting. I'm kind of trolling right now. There we go. Keep hitting. I wasn't very good at Claymore. I just, I believe I just picked up the weapon because I switched to Cult of Sandals very soon after. I'm picking up the weapon. Oh, I missed the interrupt. Oh, oh my god, I'm so bad in this deck. How do I still kill him, man? Insane. Spoiler alert. I E into the Holy Blast, too. Oh my god. How do I kill him, bro? This weapon's broken. I believe... Yeah, there we go. I should... Oh, perfect. I baited the, the major up from the Claymore, actually. Um, he wasted roll... Um, this is just honestly an easy kill. E just kills right now. There we go. He just kills. There we go. At this point, I just run away. Um, he has his E cooldown, I don't, so I honestly just kind of chill for a minute. Um, I just kind of just kite out my E cooldown just because there's never um, a reason to be too safe. Because honestly, Claymore with Fiend Cowl is fucking horrifying to play against. Um, you can die so fast. Um, but yeah, very easy little um, round there. Their Claymore wasn't very good. Um, he should have killed my healer like so fucking fast. Not even crazy. 
not even funny. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how you play Claymore in the current meta. See y'all.